have you ever come across a situation where you are expectant of something and you don't get it hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is ever joy if you haven't subscribed to this channel please uh, subscribe so that you don't miss any other videos from me in this video basically i'm just going to be talking about a situation where you're waiting for something that you deserve you know that you deserve it and then you don't get it um i encountered the same thing last week <laughs> last week um i was waiting for something for good news you know for something that i knew that i deserved to get but then i didn't get it been waiting for this thing for almost um a year i know that i should be getting it i know that i deserve it because of my hard work but then also find that i didn't get it um i found myself in a situation where i asked myself what happened don't I deserve it? You you find yourself asking yourself so many questions and telling yourself so many negative thoughts and then you start feeling so depressed. That's how I felt. I felt like there's something wrong that I didn't do um, or I just don't deserve it or I just, I, I'm, I'm not supposed to be there yet. You know, when at the beginning of the year we write these resolutions like what do i want to accomplish at the end of the year and it was one of the things that i wanted to accomplish or to get but then it didn't work in my favor like they say in life we don't always get what we want or what we want to achieve there are times when you will um, find yourself in a situation where you don't uh, get what you had hoped for or what you had worked for. But in this video, I just want to encourage um, you out there, those people that are depressed, those people that feel like it's the end of the world, those people that cry themselves to sleep, those people that wake up during the middle of the night and ask themselves, where did I go wrong? And they and they start feeling sorry for themselves. I just want to encourage you that it's not the end of the it's not the end of the world. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. You don't have to give up. I did the same last week where I didn't get this um, this thing that I've been hoping for for the whole year. I had to wake up during the night and just ask myself, okay, where did you go wrong, Everjoy? What didn't you do? Don't you deserve it? I talked to God. I asked him to just talk to me and show me where I went wrong. But you know, God doesn't always answer at the, at the same time that you call him. Yes, he does answer at his own time. He's never late. He's never early. He's always on time. But then I had to just, you know, get up, wash my face, pray, and then sleep. In the morning, I had to also gather myself and just it was crazy I, I i didn't know what to do i didn't know whether to go back to that place because i felt so depressed during the day i had to just keep quiet because i knew that if i had uh, started talking to people i would just shout or show my anger but then i had to just quiet myself and then replan so i felt like um since i found myself in this situation how do i go about in Still achieving my my goals i told myself that it's not the end of the the the, the world it, there is always a ray of sunshine that will shine upon my my life but when it does take time but then you have to start planning and start re, actually replanning replanning if your goal was to get a job um and you didn't get a job replan Start thinking of ways on, on socializing and interacting with people so that you can build those relationships. I think it's called networking. Um, yeah, so I think you sh we should replan if we find ourselves in situations where we don't get what we want. So what I did is that I created a vision board on that day. I was so angry, but then I... I, I there was nothing else that I could do. I had to just start looking at my goals again on what I want to achieve and how I want to get there. So I made a vision board. There's a video from this lady. I forgot her name. Um, but this lady specializes in vision boards. Uh, so vision boards is whereby you cut pictures of 
of things that align to your goals so for example if you want to drive a car one day you cut out a picture of the car that you want and the color the model like you have to be specific um and then you paste it on a board so then um this will give you a clear indication on what your goals are so when you see it um i think it also inspires you to just remember that okay one day i will drive uh this car so it's sort of like um building positive thoughts uh yeah a positive mindset uh when you're down so when you look at your vision board you know that okay one day i will drive this car one day i will live in a in this kind of house at this place one day i want to have a big family one day i want to travel one day i want to do this i want to 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 work i need a job like it's sort of like manifesting but i i'm not quite sure about it but um i felt like when i created this vision board i i i it was like i was staring my future on a board so this will give me like an inspiration on where i want to be and what i want to be in life and what i want uh so a vision board kind of looks like this this is just a mere example of my vision board and how it looks like and the things that i want so you just cut out pictures of the house that you want and for the car that you want the amount of money that you want the kind of savings that you want so this helped me get back on track in especially the one where I want to be in a management position one day yes I do but then when you put this um, uh, pictures on your vision board it doesn't magically you know uh, appear you have to work towards these um, goals again so for me like I said I want to be in a management position now I have to now start taking steps on how I want to get there how do I upskill myself in order for me to be a leader one day? So it also goes with you. Uh, this is not a magic stick, <laughs> a magic board that will just magically um, uh, resurface your, your goals or something. But you have to work towards that. So life will kick us. It will slap us real hard. But it doesn't mean that we need to stay down and feel sorry for ourselves and cry ourselves to sleep we need to get up we need to brush ourselves we need to dust ourselves we need to wear clean clothes we need to bath we need to to comb our hair and then we need to start thinking again okay how do i get out from this position you can even write it down the things that you need to do um so what i'm trying to say in this video is that yes life will always kick us no matter how happy we are no matter which position we are in in life which situation we are in in life life can always kick us and then we can fall to the ground but it doesn't mean that we need to stay down get up get up and dust yourself and uh start replanning start um doing differently uh get out of your comfort zone um if you're going back to school focus 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 if you want to be in a management position like me upskill yourself do online courses there are so many free online courses out there um if you want to get a job start job hunting start submitting cvs it also goes with the confidence start submitting your cvs start interacting with people on LinkedIn. if you want to be in shape start exercising set a timer for 10 minutes a day to just exercise and eat healthy so the list goes on and on so i really hope that i have inspired or encouraged somebody out there uh, whoever out there is feeling down and feeling like it's the end of the world uh, if you have any comments that you want to comment on feel free to put them on the comment section if you haven't subscribed to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it please please, please. <laughs> I hope everyone everyone meets their goals one day and achieve their dreams love you Lord